Alright guys, so now that we know how to take pictures with the camera, what I want to do now is I want to show you guys how to apply photo filters or other cool effects to your photos. So by the end of these tutorials, you guys are, I don't want to say that you're going to know how to make like Instagram photo filters because those take a lot of time and um, you need like a background in photography, but I'm going to show you guys the real basics of how to bring out your highlights or contrast and also apply some cool overlays so the first thing I want you to do is this I already uploaded two photos this one right here is just my profile photo if you want you can just go get any two square photos but if you want these ones that I'm gonna be working with go to my forum in this link and just right click and save as and I saved this one as what did I save it as bucky.jpg in this one that white one you saw what we're going to be doing here is we're just going to be placing this on top and I know it looks white right now but this is actually clear as you guys can see right here so again whenever we place this on top of this image what's going to happen is it's going to give it a nice frame and give it that old vintage um, scratched up kind of looking effect again this looks <laughs> it looks kind of weird and it just makes my image look dirty but if you have like a background in photography then I'm sure you guys can change that so anyways go ahead right click both of these save them as so they're saved to your computer so the first thing we have to do is add them to our project so I started a brand new project um, nothing new blank activity whatever and we need to get those to our drawable folder right there so if you go and cut these just cut those and then open up Windows Explorer wherever you have your project what you can do is you can navigate to your drawable folder by going to app source main res which stands for resources and you can just stick them in your drawable I'll stick them in a drawable HDPA and just paste those in there so now we can actually close out of this and if we look back in Drawable, we see that we now have that Bucky.jpg, which is my face, and that Dirty, which is pretty much some, uh, like a frame. Alright, so now what we have to do is we actually need an area on our app where we can display an image. So get rid of this text view right here, and there's going to be one single widget, really easy. Just going to drag, might as well just drag it right in the middle. Alright, now this is kind of annoying me that it's just a little pixel by default. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the minimum height. Er, right there, that was maximum. Alright, so I'm going to give it a minimum of 300 dp and 300 dp. Alright, pretty good. So this is just so whenever you're developing your interface you can kind of, it's a little easier to visualize than that one little pixel right there. And also the other thing that I need to do is I need to give this an ID and I will give it an ID of Bucky's image view. Alright, so now we have an area where we can display a photo. And again, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be displaying my face. And one thing I'm going to do before I show you guys how to add that overlay to it to make it look vintage look is I'm just going to show you guys how to apply effects manually and we're going to invert the image now if you don't know what invert the image is it um this is like on every photo editing program but it pretty much makes you look like you're going through an x-ray machine or something so uh, it was one of the easiest ones to implement alright so hop over to main activity and the first thing I'm going to do is clean this up I also as a side note I changed my color my comments to this kind of uh, green bluish turquoise kind of color I it looked like gray like a light gray was kind of hard to read in the video so I like having my comments pop and stand out so that's what I did alright where was I so what I want to do now before I begin is I want to import a bunch of stuff and I already have them copied so here you go and again if you want to actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the source code and I'm gonna post it on that exact same um, forum topic that you guys download the images so if you just want to copy all of these and paste them in then please do that it will save you a bunch of time so now the first thing I want to do is I want to get 
a reference to pretty much this image view and also these images right here. So let's go ahead and do the image view first. So image view, I think it was named Bucky's, Bucky's or yeah, Bucky's plural, well not plural, possessive image view. All right, so I want to get a reference to my face, which was my profile photo. So I'll just say Drabble Bucky's face, Bucky's fame. Be an interesting photo. And what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be taking this right here, which is a JPEG, as you can see. And in order to work with it for Android, you need to convert it into a bitmap image. Now, a bitmap allows you to work with the individual pixels. You can JPEG and pings, they're good for just displaying like logos and graphics and buttons on the screen. But if you ever want to be able to manipulate the individual pixels, then you need to convert it to a bitmap. So again, this is the JPEG version. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to convert it to a bitmap image. All right, so use myself a little bit more space here. All right, so on create, the first thing I want to do is I want to take Bucky's image view and actually set that. What did? All right, image view. On v by id r dot id dot. All right. So this, of course, just is a reference to this, and you guys already know why we need that, so we can actually display something there. Now let me get a reference to this JPEG right here, and the way we do that is we got to get the resources, and then since it's drawable, you got to get the drawable, got to get the drawable, and what drawable that you want, how about this one named Bucky? All right. So again, all we are doing right here is getting a reference to my face and it is a drawable, so that's why it's giving me this error right there. All right, so now the JPEG is stored in the variable Bucky's face, but remember I told you that, guys that you need to convert it to a bitmap in order to use it. So we already have a variable called bitmap image where we can store the information. So bitmap image, now to convert a JPEG to a bitmap, then what you do is this. If you go to bitmap, where are you at? Bitmap drawable, Bucky's face, what this is gonna do is it's gonna take this and cast it into a bitmap drawable object. And then on this, you need to call the method, did I just type hey, get, huh? Look at that, they are kind of similar on the keyboard. Anyways, get bitmap. So again, it's kind of a weird uh, syntax right here, but this takes JPEG and converts it into a bitmap so we can work with the individual pixels. So now what I want to do is I want to add some photo filter to this bitmap. Now, if I write all the code in here, then it's going to get messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store an entirely new variable called new photo and this is going to be equal to invert image function that we're going to be creating later on now let me pass this in right here all right so again it's giving us error because this is going to be the method that we create in the next tutorial that's going to take your image and convert it or in other words invert it apply some cool effect to it so i'm going to be passing in the original bitmap image which is pretty much that image you saw of my face we're going to be inverting it and I'm going to store the new data in a variable called new photo and what do we want to do with this new inverted photo well of course we just want to display it right here so if you go to Bucky's image view in order to set that content of the image view to a new photo we'll say set image bitmap new inverted photo so that looks pretty good for this tutorial that is how you set everything up and in the next tutorial we're actually going to be digging through them pixels and i'm going to show you guys how to tweak them and create a cool inverted image effect